black, it's not Negro, it's none of that. You are an Israelite according to the Bible. And the Israelites are God's chosen people. But I'm going to tell you, it's the reason why you don't know who you are. But look at us. Look at our state right now. I just want to look around and just look how we look. Lost. Sitting around here, you know, like we just got it all going on. But we lost. We in the slums. We don't know who we are. We're in a barber society. But we are rich. That don't make no sense to you, huh? But we are rich because the promises and the laws and the statutes and the covenants and everything was given to us. But I'm going to let y'all know something. Give me a song of 83 and 2. So it's time for y'all to wake up, man, come up out of your sleep and understand that we're at war right now. And we've been at war since we before we hit the shores of America. We've been at war with our enemy. But you got to recognize who your enemy is. It's not, it's not another brother that looks like you. It's not a dude from a different neighborhood. You got the same enemy that's ruling over you, that's oppressing you, that's gunning us down in these streets, that's put us in these conditions. Bring it out. For lo, the book of Psalms, chapter 83 and verse 2. For lo, thy enemies make a template to moat. And they that hate thee have lift up thy head. Verse 3. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. You hear that right there? That's right. They, they, put a, they made an agreement to put us in a situation that we're in right now. He said they made crafty counsel against us, right? But what they're trying to do is take away our nationality and take away our heritage. Don't you know now to know who you are? Read verse 4. They have said, Come and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. You hear that right there? That's why you don't know who you are. Because these devils came away and took your nationality and hijacked it, and they run around saying that they're you. Just the same way that they took the image of Christ and made him as a white man. You understand? They got us all twisted up. We got it's time for us to wake up and realize who we really are. And we really are God's chosen people. But the reason why we live in these conditions is because we went off and started doing our own thing. Thinking we can figure it out on our own. But no, we got to come back to our Heavenly Father, you know what I'm saying, to figure out the, the same way that we got out in this mess is the same way that's going to get us out of it. It's going to let us turn around and come back to the Most High. And start following these laws, statutes, and commandments that was only given to one group of people, the 12 tribes of Israel. That's right. That's and when right. you think that we all the same, you went around here thinking that we all the same, why are we not all living the same then? Why are we not all being treated the same? You know what I mean? Why are we the only ones running around gangbanging against each other? You don't see that going on in the, in the Asian community. You don't see that going in the white community. But we run around here against each other, and we have a a, we have a, we are cursed people, and we mad when another brother speak to you. Right. We don't even like that. The brother say, "How you doing, y'all, oh, man? You don't know me." But that's a curse. We got to do right. That's a curse that we living up under. Read this right here. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter twenty-eight and verse fifty-four. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil toward his brother. No, 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 no. He said his eyes was going to be nice and looking lovely to his brother, right? His eyes shall be evil toward his brother. You hear that right there? That's in the Bible right here. Us gang banging and having an evil eye towards our brothers is in the Bible. You ain't never heard that. You understand? But the reason why is because we not obeying the laws Christ God gave to us. Not to everybody else. He said the, the hand, what did he say? The, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Right? Now who's running this earth? No, we not. You understand? Our enemies are in control. You see that? But we, they weren't made to be in control. Huh? Yeah. I'm going to tell you how this all started. I'm going to tell you how this all started, man. These white men being over us like this because that Black Lives Matter, this Christian church, all none of that's going to save us because that ain't the reason why we're in this mess. You understand? We're in this because the Most High God put us in this situation because we didn't obey His laws. So he gonna punish us because we his children. That's what's going on right now. So we, we can't fix it unless we find out what's really going on right now. So I'm gonna break it down to you with this, who this white man really is. 
the book of Genesis chapter 25 and verse 23. And the Lord said unto her, two nations are in thy womb. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Did he say two nations in thy womb? And two manner of people. He said in two manner of people. It's two nations in one woman womb and two manner of people. Read. Shall be separated from thy bowels. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people. Wait a minute. He said one people going to be stronger than the other people? So that, that just let us know that there's a difference going on right here. And that's to let you know it's a difference between us and the white man. You understand? But you got to understand why the weaker vessel takes a, over a stronger vessel. And I was lost in the sauce. I know who we are. We went around. We out here speaking truth right here to power. But don't nobody even listen. They run right past. They want to look at one of these damn cell phones, one of these pizzas, all this bullshit. You understand? Excuse my language, but y'all need to be hooking into this word. You know what I mean? I don't know why ain't nobody just running up and trying to hear what we talking about. You know, why they got all these brothers standing up here right now talking about this Bible, bringing up the Bible, but we ain't talking about no love everybody, and uh, Jesus is going to come and save everybody. Because that's not in the Bible. That's this white man got to... Man, we've been having churches in our community for how long? Have we been saved yet? Huh? We don't try to walk and say we love everybody, but this white man is still out here killing us down and killing us. You understand? But what are we doing about it? We don't even care. We still got time to find out that run around trying to stab each other, trying to shoot each other down. I mean, goddamn. We need to come together. I, what all is it going to take for us to wake up and realize we all we got? You understand? Don't nobody love us. Why can't we love us? You know what I'm saying? Why can't we try to figure out why we in this condition? We want to go to, we, all we worried about is going out, get our coronavirus, go shopping and all that. Hey man, find out why coronavirus even hit. You understand? It's a curse from the Bible. It's only coming to us. Look at our community. Look at this street. This shit is filthy out here. You understand? We don't own none of these buildings. We don't own none of these stores. You understand? We got these Chinese people coming to this community, get stores, get businesses. And our community won't even give us a job there. But we don't have a problem with that. They got bulletproof glass from floor to ceiling. You understand? And we, we still come in there and spend our last dime buying some old shit that's overcharged, overpriced. Man, we need to start loving ourselves, man. We need to start coming to dealing with each other. Bring it out. The book of John, chapter 7 and verse 49. But this people who know of not the law are cursed. Hear that right there? They said we curse. And if anybody out here got a problem with what we saying, I speak that we sitting in the, and we telling lies, or we ain't telling the truth, why don't you come up here instead of riding by, shaking your head, you know what I mean, acting like we saying something that's wrong, come up here and dispute, let us, set us straight then. Get us right. You understand? Because that's what love really is. You got any love for me? Come up here and get me right. You understand? But I stand on what I'm taking right now. So any of y'all want to come up here and, and, and get edified, come on up here. You know, it seems like y'all really standing like in a burning building right now. And I'm trying to tell you that this building is on fire. And y'all don't mind. Y'all still walk further into the building. You know what I mean? I asked your brother, hey, what's going on? I'm good. And you running around here. Man, what, what, what scripture is that, man? The most high said, I hate, one thing I hate is a poor man with a proud look. We running around right here, you know what I'm saying? Ain't got, a, man, we ain't got nothing. You know what I mean? Exactly. A window, a pot to piss in, a window to throw out of. We went around here talking about we good. I asked you what's your nationality? I have no idea. I'm a color, I'm black. You understand? But one, thing you got, one thing you gotta understand is that, you don't let the dumb ass go by. Look at that devil. And at the same time, I want to let y'all know that we have enemies out here. We have enemies. If you don't know that you got an enemy out here, you must be walking around here with your eyes closed this whole time. That's right. You understand? Can we more? What's that? What's that? Yeah, come over here and talk to us then. That's the problem right there. Everybody want to say something out the window, but they don't want to stop and come talk to them. The Moors, they ain't nothing but about the Moors. That, that, that's that's folly, the foolishness. You understand? They, 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 they say nowhere in the in the Bible that uh, that the laws and the statutes and commandments was given to the Moors. They said it, it, it said the Moors was a special people above all people. But I'm gonna tell y'all who y'all are, your nationality, your nationality. 
I'm gonna let you read this right here. The book of Deuteronomy chapter seven and verse six. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord has chosen thee to be a special people. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He said he made us to be a special people above all people. That's right. So why can't we just recognize that right there alone? That we are special right. people above all people. Right. You understand? The Lord said this. This is not my words. The Lord said I chose you right. to be a special people. You could have been in any other nation. That we must be called the heathen. But you are, you know what I'm saying, his elect. The ones he, that he chose for himself. Yeah, you, but we went around here act like, you know, we act like what they told us we are. Nothing. We run around here like, you know, we don't, it's, it's a shame, man. Y'all need to be coming up here trying to hear this word. Like, hey, we Israelites? Man, when I heard I was Israelite, man, it changed my whole life. You understand? And I realized that God do love me. I'm just being punished. That's like a child that's being disciplined. When he get older, he realized, oh, wait a minute, my parents do love me. They don't just get me right. And that's what the most hard doing. But everybody who don't want to listen is going to be put to death. Straight up. It's like you have to get out or lay down with this too. Now, if you want to act like you don't hear it, hey, one day you're going to realize, man, I'm going past the man of the Lord, and now I'm in this situation. I'm going to try to know who God dealing with. Because he's definitely not dealing with everybody. Yep. Alright, bring it out. The book of Joel, chapter 2 and verse 27. Bring it out. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord your God, and none else. Right. You hear that right there? Have any of y'all ever heard that in the Bible? We gotta give man. They, they sleep over here. They don't want to be woke. Hold up, hold up. Read that one more time. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of of Israel, and that I am the Lord, your God, and none else. You hear that? He said, I'm your God, and none else. And none else. Not nobody else, but we don't, we don't care about that. We'd rather just be, you know, a nigga in the streets. You know what I'm saying? Man, we'd be like, we're not in condition. That's just like you were living in a house of filth, and you don't have no problem with it. That's a mental condition. You understand? Something is wrong. There's something wrong when you sit here, we here telling you this, that you, God's chosen people, you're a special people, and you're above all people, and you don't, and that don't even make you move your soul at all. That don't do not, no reaction. Like you're dead inside. You're spiritually dead. You understand? You need to be hearkening to this word. Right. Yeah. What's up, brother? Yeah, do you know who you are? Do you know what your nationality is? Yeah, you're an Israelite, bro. That's right. Yeah. God's chosen people. That's right. Yeah. You can roll the window up. It's all good. Somebody asked you, don't say you no color no more. You coming from a nation. You can't get on no plane and go to black. You understand? Y'all need to be proud to be y'all Israelites. Y'all act like it's a problem or something that we are telling y'all y'all the top people that you know that they draw above all people. They look at me, they look at me like I'm talking bad about it. But yeah, all lives matter. But, but we don't want to get knocked down in the street. We don't want to went through slavery. We don't want, you know what I'm saying, was considered three of a human being. We don't want to get in Jim Crow, red line, and everything else. But all lives matter. What was all lives matter in doing that? But we don't want to hear that. And we want to love our oppressors. They don't want to love us. They don't even want our love. But we some goddamn fools, man. We some home born slaves. Jeremiah 2 and 14. Jeremiah 2 and 14. Bring it up. The book of Jeremiah. Chapter 17 and verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy heritage that I gave thee. And I will cause thee to serve thy enemies in the land which thou knowest not. You hear that right there? This is all the most high doing. You know, when you have, do you ever sit and wonder why, as a people, that we go through what we go through and you don't have the answer? I'm giving you the answer right here and I'm giving you the solution. But y'all don't care though. Them a man, I'm giving you a two for one right now, man. All these Black Lives Matter shirts don't mean nothing. You understand? This is real revolution right here. And when we come out here, these laws, statutes, and commandments, it's going to change everything in our community. It's going to change our life. And it's going to change our future. Well, actually, our future is already written, but you want to be a part of it. And you're going to be lost to the sauce. You're going to be getting put down with these Edomites, these goddamn devils, these white men, and these other nations, these Moabites, these Asians. They ain't number dogs. These, these Arabs, they ain't number dogs. You know what I'm saying? You gotta understand that. You are above all of them. That's right. You need to come back to who you are, man.
Black. Yeah, yeah, we not black, bro. We is black. That's, That's right. right. Yeah, black is the color. That's right. Black lives matter. Man, y'all killing me with that. <laughs> is you like black lives matter? How about that? That's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Israel, Israel, Israelites' lives matter. Because that's who you are. And God said your lives matter. Not this white man. God said your life matter. So you need to come back to your laws, statutes, and commandments, your heritage. This Bible is your heritage. You understand? It's not about uh, Caesar Borgia, the white Jesus. It's about a strong black man. Uh, Israelite man. <laughs>